What's up, Pokemaniac TFP? Back to you with another video. In this video, we'll be playing my strat along with no side bets. And I'm gonna cringe. So we got 15 versus 5. That's a stand. Make sure you join the Discord that is in the description. It's the right one. If you see the Patreon channel, you're in the right one. We got lucky with that one. Let's go to 15 here. 20, hell, I did it. If you want to do 15, you might as well do 20, right? It's a bust. Or not. I should go for 75 here, but we're good. We're going to chill. 12. Bust. We're down a bit. No side bets. We ain't hit a side bet yet anyway. Easy double. Nine. All right, so look, we got to do something to reverse the cards. I'm going to hit. Okay, I normally wouldn't have hit that, but I think we did all right. Okay. We got to reverse these cards here. We're down like 30 bucks. We're gonna stand. All right, let's bet ten dollars here. Eighteen versus two. We would have busted if that was the next card anyway. Nine, seventeen, we win. Let's bet a, a hot channel. Let's bet twenty-five here, not fifty. Twenty. We raised and got the twenty. Don't, don't, bro, that's, we did our part on the raise, we got the 20, but the dealer did something crazy, so bad, we ain't hit a side bet yet, so we're good on that, gotta be really careful, never double down against the ace, it's not safe. Didn't matter. That could have been a lot worse. Busted. Back to the hundo. Come on. Blackjack. We raised. Not a blackjack. Get us there. Back to the hundo. Ooh, that's gonna, oh, I hate looking at that with no ciders, bro. Patreon, y'all see what's going on? Y'all see that, right? Big card. Not in the right spot. It's okay, we're doing right. We just gotta catch it. 16 bust all right we should see kings and aces this round okay nope bust with a king king me okay that's better down about 30 bucks we'll catch it 13 we got a hit 20 Come on. I bet ten dollars this round. We gotta play it safe here. It's a six. Ah, we gotta play it safe though. That's a good hit actually. We can raise here now. That's a good raise. Win. Bust. That's a good raise. Come on, bust. Do your job. Bro, that's ugly, man. He pulled an eight though. It works, but sometimes it looks really weird. Easy double. Especially betting the men. Okay. Back even. Say 130 is even. 
All right, let's get up. We're gonna try to get to like 200, like two, mm, 260. That's actually bad. That happened twice. We get a 20 and they pull 21. You can't do anything about that. You just can't. Just make sure you're not betting big when that happens to you. <sighs> and I'm playing this like I would a normal shoe, honestly. Missing ciders. We should see threes and fours this round. Threes and fours. No. Three or four. Nope. Come on, man. Right now? Nope. a great time to raise here uh, we're gonna stand seven under eight seven under damn all right we'll go down we'll bet 15 10 yep okay happen the next round it's fine back even we're good So those of you that don't like to play side bets is because your bet sizing for the main bet is a little too harsh. So you will be losing money faster. But if you have a good ratio from bet size to um, side bets and they actually are hitting, you'll win a lot better. Like you'll win a lot better. I'm serious. If you're betting $300 a hand and betting five on the side, you're going to lose money a lot quicker. But if you're betting 75 a hand, you know, your odds are a lot better. Just depends on your bank balance and bank roll. So you have to decide that and figure that out for yourself. And honestly, like if you're on a regular table, you would want to move around. Like if side bets aren't hitting for you, then move around. Like that, that hurts. We got a 20 on a 25 bet. Should win. Good. 182. You just gotta wait for it. Oh. Oh my God, bro. Stop, bro. You just missed out on so much money. And this is a possible push for no reason. We were up on the side. Even $5 would have paid you 130. We'd be up so much. We'd be up $200 right now. 300. That's the thing. You want to play the short game in this stuff, bro. You don't want to sit there and try to win a billion dollars in one night, bro. It's not going to happen. Another flush we missed. It's just, it hurts my soul to see all these side bets hitting and I'm not playing. Come on, we need another ace. There it is. See, perfect raise, perfect timing. So, whoever, I mean, it's trying to mimic the shoe. It really is because that was a good raise. Like, and it's not luck, bro, because I, I would do that raise if I was playing a real deck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was dealing to myself practicing, I would have raised right there anyway. And, you know, could be, nah, hell no, nah, no way. That's rare. 130 to 200. Let's see if we can just get to 130. We're going to just hit it. Some told me to double down, but I was like, nah, 10. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that no. But that's what I'm saying, though. Use logic. Why don't I hit on 15s and 16s? 14s, 14s I will sometimes, depending on the card combination on the table. But 15s and 16s, I hit on my, you know, I'll hit if I feel like it, but... 80 to 90 percent of the time i'm gonna stand on 15 and 16 because that hand doesn't matter it's a losing hand when you're dealt 16 versus 10 i automatically feel like i lost the hand as long as you have money to play with to raise later on down the road when it's supposed to then that hand right there in that moment of time is just garbage right i don't care i'm gonna stand hoping the dealer is weak so they can bust out 
but you don't stand on 13s and 12s, right? Never stand on 12s and 13s. 14s, 15s, 16s, your odds go up high, tremendously high on busting that, right? And they're like, oh, there's so many more low cards in the deck than high cards. Okay, cool. So why can't the dealer have a low card underneath, right? Why can't the dealer have a low card underneath? Why do we always have to pull for the low card? We don't always have to pull for the low card. If the dealer has a low card, that's your advantage. We have the advantage to stand on 14s, 15s, 16s. The dealer doesn't. The dealer has no chance, no shot of standing 14, 15, and 16. So, and 12 versus 2, yes, it's 50-50, bro. It's 50-50. I bet you if I hit this, it's going to be a jack. King, right? I would never hit that. I'm doing that to show you I would never hit that. I would never hit that. I just took the bus card, bro. If the dealer can bust, I just messed up that hand. The dealer can bust. I'm not going to take the bus card. And I'm never doing that again. That's why I don't hit 12 verse 2s. Because I watch somebody sit there and say, every time I get a 12 verse 2, I always bust. And I'm like, okay, if that happens, why are you still hitting that? Stop. Because I'm watching them. Every time he got a 12 verse 2, he was. He was busting. Stop hitting it. <laughs> and that's for the universe of Blackjack, bro. Stop doing that, bro. Another raise, 25, and we hit. Like, I'm not just doing things because I'm just trying to, you know, I don't know. Y'all just think I'm just playing bad, bad blackjack. Y'all don't understand my strategy. Like, go check the Patreon, like, for real. Like, just, just go check it out and just understand what I'm talking about, you know? I mean, you have your right to your opinion, but they're not going to pass around. Um, Oh, don't do it. They're not going to pass around a sheet blackjack strategy chart that's gonna help you win in the casino they're just not gonna do it if you can't card count what makes you think they're gonna pass a sheet of paper of basic strategy why because basic strategy is 50 50 for the player and 50 50 for the casino you them telling you to hit versus 10 is for the casino odds for the casino 13s you have to hit that but 15s and 16s that's those are odds for the casino to win. They they know you're going to bust. They want you to hit that. No. So stand it. Because the dealer does not have to hit. I mean, the dealer has to hit on 14s, 15s, 16s. Anything below 17, they have to hit. In a casino, you do have people standing on 12s, standing on 5s, standing on 6s, bro. Like soft fives, soft sixes, I see it all the time. And it pissed me off because I had a 20, bro. I had a $75 bet and I had a 20. And this drunk dude stood on an ace, ace, uh, ace four, stood on it. And the dealer ended up pulling 21. And then the dealer ended up pulling 21 three times after that in like a short amount of time. So it's like you have bad players like that. And if you're ever on a table and you see that, it's time to go. If you see, look at that, $40 raise blackjack. Come on, bro. That's the strat. Y'all think it's, everything is random? Uh, Maybe. I don't know. But I'm playing it like a regular shoe. We're up to 300 and we're going to stop. We're going to stop right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because they put out a document, they're like, oh, this is basic strategy. You should do this. You should do this. If everybody jumps off a bridge, should you do it? Nah, now it's like, oh, you're a, you're a, you know what I'm saying? You're a, I can't say the word for not hitting. No, bro, like, stop it, bro. That's, that's, that's garbage for you to say somebody's scared for, for standing on a 15, 16. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. If you're dealt a 15 or 16, I just count that as a loss if I have money in my bank. Now, if you're all in, then you have a you you be like okay if you want to go for it go for it you know what I'm saying if you want to go for it go for it but if you have money to play with let's move around let's let's well I do my strat that's my strategy I'm gonna move around and raise my bet to get my money back the next time you feel what I'm saying and for real 75 percent to 80 percent of the time when I raise 
it's going to be a good hand. Subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, check out my Patreon, check out the other side in there. Yeah, check it out, check everything out, man. Um, see y'all next video, bro. We're gonna start doing giveaways in the Patreon. We're gonna start doing giveaways for the people that are signed up and subscribed because I want to give back to the community. That's all I wanted to do is give back to the people that show support on this channel and show love. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And like, I'm gonna give out a uh, a specific YouTube link and for my Patreon members and they're just gonna comment and we're just do a giveaway like that. Don't know how much we might do some, we might do more or less, but if you're in the disc I mean if you're in the Discord or in the Patreon, might do like a couple of giveaways in the Discord, but more in the Patreon. Real talk. So see y'all later. Have a blessed weekend.